Hi everyone, welcome back to Guitar Image YouTube channel. Alright, today we have with us the latest pedal from 1981. Okay, this is the LVL pedal. Now they are famous for their DRV, like a red type pedal. So this one is a bit different, okay. So this one is more of a low gain type pedal. Uh, took them four years to actually came out with this circuit. Uh, it's an interesting circuit, alright. Um, it's a very simple pedal, two knobs, right. So you have the LVL level here and the volume. The LVR is the amount of gain uh, you want to introduce and the volume is basically how loud or how hard you want to push your M. Okay, so talking about M, uh, the 1981 LVR pedal is in the quad cortex loop, effects loop. Okay, in the quad cortex itself, I have my compressor. Okay, it's going to a Fender Deluxe capture and then to a reverb. So pretty standard, uh, standard chain. Okay, so I just want to hear how how nice this 1981 pedal is. So here's the clean sound, okay, without the pedal turn on. standard clean sound okay so I'm, I, I put the LVL at zero gain now okay and then the volume at three o'clock so let's see how this sounds like turn on I'm just going to push up the volume well, let's put it at max and see how it sounds like I like how it pushes the amp. Uh, it adds a little bit of low end, but yet not uh, mudding up the tone. Okay. Even I'm strumming chords or semi triads, you can hear this. I can still hear the separation of the notes. Uh, that's something beautiful. You don't want to be able, uh, having a gain, and then when you strum, the whole chord becomes very mushy. Okay, so I just like how it just pushes the M, uh, the character. EQ doesn't really change a lot, just a little bit more weight to the sound. Okay, and of course, the M is breaking up right now, so you get a bit more dirt. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's let's just maybe introduce a little bit more gain. So as I bring up the gain, I'm going to bring down the volume a little bit. So this is at the LVL. It's a kind of a tongue twister, right? So the, the, the gain, let's just call this the gain knob or the LVL knob, right? So it's at uh, 9 o'clock and the volume at 3. So let's just hear how it sounds like. <laughs> So it doesn't really push the M as hard as before, so I'm just going to bring up the volume again. Let's hear how this one sounds like.
Okay, so it's very interesting uh, uh, how the knobs actually interacts. So, uh, of course, it's definitely like an inverse relationship, right? Uh, but you can hear at volume at max, it's actually pushing the amp really hard. Uh, but when I bring down the volume a little bit and I bring up the gain, you get pretty similar kind of characteristics, just a little bit more, uh, more hair, a bit more dirt. Uh, a bit dirtier, but you still get the clarity of the notes, right? <laughs> So my gain is about, uh, about 10 o'clock now. So let's maybe sh move up this way, okay. And let's hear this one. settings uh, let's push up the gain even more okay now a lot of this boils down to to the amp uh, that you're using okay uh, if the amp is on the edge of breakup it will react differently. The M is a bit cleaner. So everything is boys to your, your last in the chain, which is your M factor. Uh, so you need to experiment around, okay? So what I'm doing now is I'm really experimenting. This is really the first time I'm trying this pedal. So uh, you can hear that uh, at many different settings, I will feel that my volume should be at least on the one o'clock position because it, it's kind of pushing the M a little bit more. If I set it too low, it doesn't feel like it's bringing good good weight. Yeah, so I want a little bit more boost, a volume boost type. So I think put it about one o'clock at least. Now it's very good uh, at max gain you are able to play things like that okay a bit more open chord uh, higher power chords it just brings out the clarity of the chord but not muddying so this pedal is very nice it doesn't muddy your tone which is very important and i believe why they say it's a very good pedal for stacking because of this kind of transparency you're getting uh, from the sound okay uh, it adds a little bit more weight, which is very nice for, for things like stacking. Okay, uh, yeah, the amount of gain is very usable from a sweep of zero all the way to maximum. Okay, so find a sweet spot for yourself and have a, have a go at it. So I think I will like it somewhere around this area. Yeah, so I put it on a neck pickup now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, that's probably some uh, setting that I would like it to be. Okay, let's see if I'm going to stack with uh, January. Okay, so I got a January in my, my board. Okay, so I will probably bring the drive down a little bit more. Okay, so this is without the January. Without the night, without without the the nineteen eighty one, with so I'm gonna push up the levels a bit more. Okay, so this is the nineteen eighty one. Let's turn on the January. Okay, January turn on now. Okay, the January is on, but without the 1981. With the LVL. The notes become rounder and a bit thicker, okay? So let's do some chords so you can hear it better, okay? With the uh, LVL. Without. With. Okay, so you can hear that it really does add, add nice weight uh, to uh, an overdrive pedal. So if you are playing with uh, a bit more mid-boost kind of overdrive pedal, this does add a bit of bass and I think it stacks pretty, pretty well. Okay, uh, let's just go for one last one. I'm just going to kick on uh, maybe a slightly more ambient sound. Okay. So this is with the LVL off. Turn on. There you have it. Okay, we hope you enjoyed the quick rundown of the 1981 LVL pedal. Okay, I think it's something that is very, very usable. Uh, I like, I really like how this pedal actually reacts and sounds, uh, especially when you're pushing the front of the amp or even stacking with an overdrive pedal. A bit like the, uh, I feel like it's quite close to the brown amplification protein, the blue side. Uh, adds a little bit more hi-fi character. Uh, I may be wrong, I might need to put them side by side, but hey, that's the really the first initial impressions of this pedal. All right, so once again, a big shout out to JMF Guitars for loaning us this pedal. Uh, if you'd like more of this kind of video, do give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, take care, God bless, I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.